through the vein. Imagine it this way also. This is an artery sending the blood to the cell, and then this is the blood capillaries. These are the blood capillaries, and then back to the vein to be sent again, sent again to the heart. The veins carry the oxygenated blood to the heart. The blood vessels that carry the oxygenated blood to the heart are known as the vein cava. Okay. What is the main blood vessel that carries the deoxygenated blood? Deoxygenated means the blood that is free of oxygen or contains carbon dioxide instead. It is called the vena cava. Vena cava is going to the other side of the heart. If this is the left side and we have the blood coming out of this side, then where does it go? Sense makes sense that it goes to the other direction, which is the right side of the heart. Is it from the upper part of the, or the lower part? It's always the upper part. So it is also the right atrium. It's coming back to the right atrium. What comes back to the right atrium? Deoxygenated blood. Why does it come back? Because it's been used by the body. So it needs to be sent again to the blood to be cleaned and nourished and get oxygen again and get nutrients again. Okay. The deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body enters the upper right chamber of the heart, which is called the right atrium. The right atrium gets contracted, allowing the blood to flow into the right ventricle, which contracts with the expansion of the right atrium through the one-way valve. The right ventricle then contracts, pushing the blood into the pulmonary artery. Let's stop here. The exact same thing happens in the right side. So the right atrium contracts, sending the blood to the right ventricle, and then from the right ventricle to something which is called the pulmonary artery. Okay, there's a misunderstanding about this is that arteries carry deoxygenated blood or oxygenated blood, and veins carry deoxygenated blood. This is actually not true because we have exceptions. Whenever we see the word artery, I'm sorry, whenever we see the word pulmonary, we reverse them. What does this mean? Okay, to solve this misconception about arteries and veins, we have to know the difference between them. Usually people say that arteries carry, deox carry oxygenated blood and veins carry deoxygenated blood. No, we can't compare them this way because we have some exceptions. What is really, really true, and we have to depend upon this to compare between arteries and veins, is that it's definitely that the heart, the arteries are coming out of heart. Veins are going back to heart. Okay. This is sending, this is receiving. This is sending the blood from the heart to the body. This is receiving the blood from the body to the heart. So what is the difference? This is one difference. What is the thing that we call uh, exceptions? Pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. Be aware that the arteries will never send your body something bad, right? Your heart will never send your body bad blood. So whenever we have blood coming out of the heart, it's definitely oxygenated and it's definitely nourished. The opposite thing is for the veins, because the veins actually collect the blood from the body to send it back to the heart to be cleaned and replace the carbon dioxide by oxygen and replace the waste by nutrients. So the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood. It's coming out of the heart and it carries deoxygenated blood. Why? Because we need this blood to be cleaned. I told you before that the pulmonary means anything related to the lungs. So imagine this pulmonary artery is coming out of the heart sending the blood to the lungs. Why? To replace the carbon dioxide or exchange between carbon dioxide and oxygen. So it's proof that not all the arteries carry oxygenated blood. Actually, all the arteries carry oxygenated 
because we need to send this blood to the lungs to be cleaned. What about the opposite side? Pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein carries deoxygenated, sorry, oxygenated blood. It carries oxygenated blood. We said that the, the vein is coming out from the body to the heart. So, it is coming out from the lungs. And if it is coming out from the heart, from the lungs to the heart. So, what is it supposed to be carrying? It is supposed to be carrying oxygenated young or diuretic. Supposed to be carrying oxygenated blood for the heart to collect this blood and send it back to the body. So, this is a misconception and this is the confusion between arteries and veins. Usually, arteries are coming out of the heart and they usually carry oxygenated blood, except pulmonary artery. Why? Because it needs to send this blood to the lungs to be replaced and exchanged. Okay, what about the veins? They usually are coming out of the body. So, we, of course, we use the oxygen and we use the nutrients. So, it's going back to the heart with the oxygenated blood, except the pulmonary vein, which carries oxygenated blood because it comes out of the lungs, clean after. Right? Is that clear now? If you have any questions, just submit your questions down there in the comments. The pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. The lungs oxygenate the blood by exchanging of gases and flows back into the heart through the pulmonary vein. Okay, we already said this part that the pulmonary artery is coming out of the heart. So it pumps the blood to another uh, uh, organ or another place. So it pumps, in this case, it pumps the blood to the lungs. Why? To exchange gases, take carbon dioxide out and take oxygen. In. When this happens, when this finishes, we have another thing waiting, which, which is the pulmonary vein. It takes it back to the left atrium. And starts the circulatory cycle all over again. And starts all over again. So, for the last time, let's discuss the blood circulation. This is the uh, this is the heart. This is the left side of the heart, and this is the right side of the heart. The blood enters to the left atrium, and then from the left atrium to the left ventricle. So it is pumped throughout the main artery that we have, which is the aorta artery, to all parts of the body except lungs. Yes, that's why I need to listen. So again, from the left atrium to the left ventricle and then to the aorta, to the whole body. What happens in the whole body? What happens in the cells and the organs? Gas exchange and nutrient, nutrient exchange. And then to the capillaries, the capillaries are collected through the veins. It enters back to the right side of the heart through, yes, vena to the right atrium and then to the right ventricle. And now, the left side of the heart contains oxygenated and clean and nourished blood. The right side of the heart contains deoxygenated and blood which contains some wastes. So, from the right atrium to the right ventricle, it is sent to the pulmonary artery. Why? For exchange of gases. Yes, perfect. And then it is connected throughout the pulmonary veins through the left atrium. I'll say this only one more time. Pulmonary vein coming out of the lungs with oxygenated blood to the left atrium. From the left atrium to the left ventricle, I'm sorry, left ventricle, and then to the aorta. From the aorta to all the parts and organs of the body. The, part, the organs of the body take all the oxygen, all the nutrients, and then send them through the capillaries, of course, and then send them, send them to the veins. The veins are collected in the main vein, which is called vena cava. Vena cava enters the right side of the heart through right atrium, and the right ventricle, the right ventricle contracts to send the blood to the pulmonary artery to be cleaned and over and over and over again. Okay, two more things, two more notes to say to you. First, if you noticed, you will notice that the walls of the left ventricle here are very thick. Why are they thicker than the other part? Actually, so that's why it is 
is thicker than the other side, the other side only pumps the blood to the lungs. That's why this needs to be stronger and thicker. That's the first thing to know. The second thing to know is that we have two kinds of circulation, the major blood circulation, Thank you so much. See you later. I do miss you.